The 4-5 matchup in the Colonial League had Wilson and Banger meeting for the third time and last time in 2023. The Slaters would dominate possession in this first quarter, however, consistently stopped by the Warriors' defense, keeping the cage clear for a zero's high after the first frame. In the second, Wilson would start to pressure, however, another good defensive performance with Liliana Hickler as the last line. With six minutes left in the second quarter, the Slaters would break through on an attempted clear. Victoria Parks was there to drive it home with just the fifth goal of her career. In the third, Hickler still standing strong. She makes a split save that before her best save of the night on a penalty stroke. Using her left glove hand to bat the ball away, that one of her five stops on the night. Banger still with the advantage into the fourth quarter until six minutes left. And Wilson using a restart off the corner to their advantage. Abby Sagristano with the tap off the assist from Peyton Hernkane evens this up at one. While Wilson would go up two to one, the Slaters would earn a corner at the end of regulation. Playoff hopes on the line here. Megan Engel gets a great drive and nails the back of the cage to send this game to overtime. With two minutes and 26 seconds left in extra time, who else but Engel to see the loose ball and tap it through for the dramatic overtime victory. Slaters defeat Wilson with a final score of three to two. I think we did well with passing. Like normally it's like sometimes we don't communicate that much, but that's normal within a game like this. But since we're both Wilson and us were grass teams and we played on turf, I feel like it just made it so much more so real. It really was a whole team effort just seeing the field and we're a grass team so playing on turf is a completely different game for us and the whole entire night we were just, as my coach says, you're all gas, just gas, just keep going and it really was a whole team effort. Without, Willie had a super save which was amazing, would have never done it without her. Every single girl on this team works as one, we work as one unit, it's always been our thing and we just came out on top. At Southern Lehigh High School, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network.